We on? Okay. Good. All right, everyone. I am Tyler Morgan, and I am here to pitch Expedition, which we would like to change the way that you and your friends pay for travel when you're collecting money. So if everyone can uh, go ahead and follow along with me and see if some of this maybe resonates with you. So when you're getting together to, to plan a trip and you need to collect money to go somewhere, hopefully you have a friend. And this friend is your best friend because they have a lot of money. So we're going to call them the bank. So you go to this friend and you say, okay, will you pay up front so everyone can go on this trip? And so they pay that money. And then you go on this trip and you have a lot of fun. And then you come back. And then the nightmare begins for this person who was the bank and is now the accountant. They have to chase down all these people that were going on this trip, promised they'd pay. Maybe some of them paid. Maybe some of them didn't. And so now you're trying to hunt them down and you see this one guy in the corner because there's always that one guy who doesn't pay or who takes six months to pay or they have to chase down. And so now your best friend is their worst enemy, and your group is broken up, and life is terrible. So what we propose is we went out, and we talked to people. And our idea was, so what do people buy as groups? And so we did about 20 short interviews. And 100% of the people we talked to said that they had been in a situation where they pooled money together. And so they're pooling it through a single person. But none of them knew that there were tools online that would help them collect that money so that you don't have those pain points. They were primarily young in their 20s to 30s, primarily male. They took one to 12 trips per year. And uh, those trips took one week to two months to plan out from the moment they thought of that to the moment they actually pulled the gun and got everyone to say, OK, I, I, I'll probably pay you. And so these are some of the examples of the, the black numbers or the, the number of people in the trips. And the, that orange number is those are actually trips that people told us they took. So you see there, one was $500 per person. So why use us? We want to predefine what you pay. So when you sign up for this, you know what everyone's going to pay. You guarantee payment. So it's like Kickstarter, where you say, I will put down my credit card information. I will put down my PayPal. And if this goes through and we get everyone to commit, we're actually going to make this trip happen. All funds are collected online. You don't have to be the accountant anymore. You don't have to chase your friends down. Um, so this is sort of how it works. You'd go on. You go through. It's like. Expedia or Travelocity, you pick your hotel, you pick your travel package, you pick the things you want, and then you get this group pay option. You could pay by yourself, but we're really trying to stress that you want to pay as a group. You do the group pay, it pulls up an itinerary of what everything's going to be paid for. Then you've got these options. You've got Facebook, Twitter, email. You tell your friends. It sends it right to them. So this implements the crowd group funding, and it implements the, the online retail. You pick your friends, you go back, it gives you some kind of validation that you have picked the right friends. And then they get sent a message like this that tells you, OK, Miguel wants to take a trip to Vegas. Would you be willing to pitch $500? If yes, put in your credit card information. If not, ignore this message. So where we'd like to start is Las Vegas. Las Vegas has all the things that people typically buy on a large trip, rentals, vacations, uh, hotels. They want full packages. They want event tickets. You want to buy tickets, but you need to buy them together because you have 12 people going and you don't want to have one person sitting in the back and one person sitting in the front. Again, that's a situation where you pull money. So we want to be Tucson-centric at first. We know the community. We know there's people around here who like to travel. It's a sunny area. There's a lot of that sort of community. So cash flows. Sale of travel items is primarily how we want to make money. Vacation homes, hotels, and plane tickets are the three big ones that people spend a lot of money on and pull into frequently. Advertisements and strategic endorsements. But the real heart of this is that group pay idea. The thing is, people are grouping money together. And there are these tools now to allow them to group money online. And there are online merchants that some of those groupings of money are going to go towards. So why not connect them into one single chain? So as you're checking out, do you want to pay for this as a group? So with that, are there any questions about what we do? So how do you make money? How do we make money? The idea is we would make money. We try to set up We try to set up We good now? Okay. So we decided to frame it in the, the form of travel site at first just because it was something where we saw a lot of focus when we were talking to people. This is where they were already paying for things. And we're a small team. I'm a mining engineer by trade. 
we have a project manager over here. So we didn't have a lot of the technical expertise to say this is how being a middleman to other retailers we could make money because we don't know the banking side of things. We don't know the e-commerce side of things. So we thought, okay, sites are making money on travel right now. Why not be a travel site to launch this and get traction with that? How large do you think the market is? That I don't know. Um, so we, with the two of us, we spent tons and tons of time doing customer validation. Uh, we, Miguel did primary, primarily development, and we pivoted a lot. We started with a completely different idea at the beginning of the week, and we actually pivoted twice yesterday and one final small pivot this morning, which was where we ended at the, the idea we have today. Would you quit your jobs and go at it? Uh, this idea? No, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I guess some of the sharks had to show our teeth, so I'm just messing with you. It's all good. Oh, no, it's fair. So uh, what about barriers to entry? Who else can do this now? Oh, well, that's part of the problem is I'm surprised someone else hasn't implemented that group funding aspect into retail right at the cash register. And it, it wouldn't take much for one of these big players to do it, but I think it's one of those things where unless someone can give them a significant price reason to change once they have adopted someone, it's probably going to be that first adopter in there that becomes synonymous with this is how I will fund this as a group. 